Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss about the production of ethyl acetate from acetic acid in a reactive distillation with the help of spanhyses. So, we will produce acetic uh, ethyl acetate with the help of spanhyses. Uh, so, first of all, we will open the spanhyses. In the spanhyses, this is the component list. Click on add. Uh, and add the component. So usually the uh, for the production of uh, ethyl acetate, acetic acid and ethanol will used. So the acetic acid when react with uh, ethanol, it produce ethyl acetate and water. So our component or the acetic acid, acetic acid, ethanol. Ethanol, ethyl acetate, ethyl acetate, ethyl acetate, and water. Water. Next, click on fluid package. Click on add. Add a fluid package. You can add fluid packages <coughs> as you wish. But I am using some like wilson i am using this fluid package here you can see this is the acetic acid molar volume ethanol molar volume ethyl acetate molar and water molar volume and cubic meter per gram mole you can also check the binary coefficient aij for ethanol ethyl acetate water acetic acid bij these are the interaction coefficient okay Okay, now go to a reaction. Click on reaction. Click on add. Actually, in the reactive distillation, there is a reaction which are taking place. So, in the reactive distillation, the reaction between acetic acid and ethanol is taking place. <laughs> and this reaction produces the ethyl acetate and water. Uh, and the ethyl acetate will obtain in the top product in the distillate and mostly and most of water will produced in the bottom of the distillation column so we will add a reaction click on reaction uh, this is set number one click on add reaction so actually there is uh, a kinetic reaction is taking place inside the uh, distillation column uh, reactive distillation is nothing but it is a simple distillation column in which a reaction is taking place so when when a reaction is taking place inside a distillation column then it will become a reactive distillation and these reactions are taking place on tray on the columns uh, uh, on the trays uh, on the trays of a column the tray can be sieve tray it can be well tray uh, so it can be faking material for peg wet column uh, the reaction will take place on the faking material but here i'm using the suit ray column so i'm using a kinetic reaction now click on kinetic and these kinetic reaction the information about these kinetic reaction can be found uh, in uh, various uh, literature in various research articles so click on kinetic click on add reaction and close this one double click on reaction and these are the component of the reaction reactant and product acetic acid react with the ethanol and it produce ethyl acetate and water one mole acetic acid react with one mole ethanol produce one mole acetic ethyl acetate one mole water for reactant we will use negative coefficient for product we will use positive coefficient this is the first order first order forward order this is and this is the reverse order so this is the forward order one one because the acetic acid and ethanol are in the forward direction and the ethyl acetate and water are in the reverse direction uh, this is a reversible reaction so in the forward reaction ethanol and water will react it will produce ethyl acetate and water in the reverse reaction ethyl acetate and water will react it will again produce ethyl it will again produce acetic acid and ethanol so the base of the reaction is uh, mole concentration activity partial pressure 
so I'm using the mole fraction uh, you can use concentration according to your need uh, the base component can be acetic acid or ethanol but I am using the ethanol the uh, reaction is taking place in liquid phase uh, these are in liquid phase so I am using the liquid phase and the red unit is in kilogram mole per cubic meter into second and these are the red, red law uh, and this is the Arrhenius equation for forward reaction the Arrhenius law for backward reaction is this one and the temperature here is in Kelvin. So the A, E, E is activation energy. This is the free exponential factor. Or the frequency factor for forward reaction. This is the frequency factor for reverse reaction. This is the uh, activation energy in the forward direction. And for the forward reaction, this is the activation energy for backward reaction. This is the red constant, the ideal gas constant. Its value is 8.314 joule per mole into Kelvin. Uh, this is the temperature so this is the temperature of reaction and this is the temperature of reaction in kelvin b is a constant and b dash is also a constant so we will put value of the free exponential factor so suppose the free exponential factor value is uh, um, it is suppose it is uh, three uh, three thousand four hundred fifty five and i'm as <coughs> i'm assuming this value of uh, the, the, these values are given in literature you can check it uh, you can use some other values according to your problem uh, the activation energy in the forward in the forward direction is uh, suppose it is 40,500 uh, and the B is suppose 0 and the uh, free exponential factor for the reverse reaction is suppose it is 4,500 56 and this is uh, this is 50,500 okay and this is 0 for example this is 0 now it is ready you can see it is ready okay close this one and now not attached to fluid package so click on this attached to fluid package and attached to fluid package Wilson so attached to fluid package go to simulation uh, go to the separator and this is the distillation column drag and drop this one add feed material stream to material stream double click on stream number one so this is actually this is the acetic acid AA acetic acid the temperature of acetic acid is suppose 20 degree its pressure is suppose 120 kilo pascal and its molar flow rate is suppose uh, uh, 2 kilogram small per hour its composition is it is the acetic acid so it is pure acetic acid click on ok it is defined click on stream number 2 this is ethanol water mixture so ethanol water the temperature of this mixture is 20 degree pressure is 120 kilo pascal its uh, molar flow rate is suppose 1.8 and composition is suppose this is the 92 percent ethanol uh, and 8 percent water and there is no acetic acid No ethyl acetate. It is also defined. Double click on distillation column, and here you can see there are 10 number of stages. But I am changing the number of stages to 18 number of stages. And the inlet stream is ethyl acetate, uh, and the other inlet stream is the ethanol water mixture. So the ethyl acetate is entering at stage number one. The, sorry the uh, acetic acid is entering at stage number one and the ethanol water mixture is entering uh, uh, from the bottom so it is entering at 18 number stage uh, there are 10 number of stage this is the condenser energy qc the reboiler energy is qr that condenser type is total condenser overhead product is suppose distillate and this is the bottom product which is b click on next click on next 
a condenser and revolver pressure is suppose 100 kilopascal click on next optional click on next suppose reflex ratio is 2.5 click on done so here you can see it is unconverged now go to the monitor and here the degree of freedom is zero but we have not specified distillate rate so <coughs> i will assume some distillate rate suppose one kilogram per hour okay now click on okay this is this is okay now go to the uh, reaction and add reaction to the distillation column click on new and the first stage so the first stage is stage number one the last stage is the stage number 18 at which the ethanol water mixture is entering the reaction set is set number one which we have defined already uh, this is the base component is ethanol and liquid base and the heat operation is this one this is enthalpy operation uh, enthalpy operation okay close this one and click on activate so here you can see the reactive column used high cis and out before shift solver to newton Rebson and out algorithm so click on ok and click on run so it is solving it will take some time now it is converged it is converged so go to the design here you can see it is converged uh, now we will go to the flow sheet here you can see go to the sheet go to the composition and here the ethyl acetate in the distillate is 68 percent 68 percent 68 percent now we can also change the number of column number of tray suppose it is 18 change the number of tray click on run go to the worksheet and check it is 67 so 18 is okay for this problem okay Eighteen. click on run it is converged so go to the worksheet and it is 68 percent okay these are, can also depend on this composition of the composition of this ethyl acetate can also depend on the molar flow rate of the acetic acid and ethanol water mixture so if we decrease or increase their molar flow rate then this can be increased or decreases it depend on the molar flow rate it can also depend on the distillate rate so okay now go to the this is a worksheet here you can this is the performance go to the condenser and reboiler so here the reboiler that the condenser duty is this one it is total condenser reboiler is regular reboiler the reboiler duty is this one the reboiler temperature is this one the condenser temperature is this one pressure of reboiler and condenser is this one the reflex flow rate is this one the outlet flow rate is this one okay the feed product here you can see okay this is the enthalpy this is the temperature this is the phase the duty the reboiler duty the condenser duty and here this is the float so here you can see the temperature click on view so this is the temperature the temperature increases and and after strain number 14 it decreases but after strain number 18 it is increases so actually there are 18 number of stages but this one stage is for the reboiler this is for the reboiler and one stage is for the condenser stage number zero is for the condenser and stage number 19 is for reboiler so there are the total number actual number of stages are 20 uh, but the number of trays in the column is uh, 18 so the reaction are taking place on on, on trays on sewed trays okay now you can also check the the composition click on the composition click on view graph so here you can see maximize this one here you can see this is the acetic acid the ethanol ethyl acetate water so here you can see 
this is stage number one the ethyl acetate uh, mole fraction is 0 0.4 ethyl acetate mole fraction is 0 0.4 okay, okay 0 0.96 stage number one okay ethyl acetate mole fraction is here you can see this is stage number one this is stages number of stages and the mole fraction of these components ethyl acetate ethanol water acetic acid so here you can see this is stage number one stage number one at stage number one the ethyl acetate mole fraction is 0 0.4 this one here you can see this this red one is the acetic acid so acetic acid mole fraction is 0 point 0 point 4 this is ethyl acetate okay okay this this blue one is the ethyl acetate so ethyl acetate okay now this this is water here you can see the water mole fraction is increases but after certain time after certain stage number 16 it after stage number 17 it decreases uh, this is this is for the ethanol so the ethanol mole fraction increases but after stage number 18 it decreases and this this is for the ethyl acetate ethyl acetate mole fraction is decreases and at stage number two its mole fraction is 0 0.39 this is at stage number two ethyl acetate mole fraction is 0 is 0 0.3918 <coughs> and similarly at stage number two ethyl acetate okay and this 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 is the acetic acid so acetic acid here you can see uh, is 50 percent acetic acid at stage number two here you can see so this is acetic acid suppose this is at stage number 12 acetic acid mole fraction is 0 0.4973 so now close this one and here there is some error it shows that the column internal are not configured so double click on the column and here go to the internal and here you can see add a new section so click on add new section and this is the uh, okay the, the the start stage so the, the start stage is stage number one at which the uh, acetic acid is entering and the last stage is the at stage number 18 at which the uh, ethanol water mixture is entering so stage number one is uh, start from stage number one at and at stage number nine suppose and uh, the interactive the mode the model type is interactive sizing or rating model so it is interactive sizing model and the internal type is tray type or uh, the packed bed column so this is a tray column and the packing type is sieve so this is sieve uh, column not bubble cave or some other so this is sieve column number of passes is one and the tray spacing is 0 0.60 meter and the column diameter is 0 0.18 meter okay so go to the section number two add another section and the second second section will entering will start from stage number 10 it will end at the last stage which is 18 number stage and the uh, uh, the the height of the the tray spacing is same uh, you can change the tray spacing but i am not changing and the column diameter is 0 0.1587 okay now this is okay you can also see view hydraulic so here you can see hydraulic profile this is the zero percent weeping hundred percent flooding this is the minimum weir load okay the down comer back off and this is the dumping here the liquid flow rate is very high liquid mass flow rate is very high and the gas mass flow rate is very low vapor mass flow rate is very very small so this is a dumping so percent hundred percent weeping so this is the liquid mass flow rate and here the gas or uh, the vapor mass flow rate in kilogram per hour so this was all about that how can we uh, uh, design a reactive distillation column
for the production of ethyl acetate using the spanhysis simulator. Thank you very much for your attention.